Hello everyone. Um, I have just sent my telescope back to telescope service. Um, they have to check it out if there are some kind of astigmatism in the perhaps the secondary mirror. I believe the primary mirror is okay, but uh, they wanted to take a look at the whole package and basically uh, it's sent back to them now. So in the meantime, uh, we're telescope service uh, checking out the telescope. Um, I was thinking, I, hey, uh, why not clean my filters? Uh, it's been uh, over one year since I took the filter wheel apart and had a look if, uh, if it needs cleaning. Um, regarding to cleaning, uh, and uh, this applies to mirrors as well, if they ain't so dirty, don't clean them, uh, especially the mirrors. Um, they can be quite dirty before you have to clean them. Uh, filters is a, uh, a bit of a different kind um, because they are so close to the sensor. Uh, let's have a look at uh, how to clean uh, filters. You are watching Exo Photography. My name is Daniel. What you need is uh, some uh, uh, cloths. Um, these are uh, not leaving any residue um, or cotton or anything. So these are uh, quite good. So some kind of baby wipes without any uh, perfume or, or anything on them. Just clean, uh, pure, soft uh, washing cloths. Um, you also need some isopropanol. And this is how it looks inside. So let me just wipe off this plate here. This is how the Starlight Express filter wheel is looking inside. Um, you have all the electronics inside and also the motor inside. I've seen on several filter wheels that the motor is uh, protruding uh, outside the case. I'm not uh, quite fond of that so uh, this is uh, this is one of the more neat solutions um, I think. Uh, but we will start to um, the cleaning process, and I will just remove the plate. It's very easy to to remove and put uh, this aside. If you see here, there are some numbers: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I believe it's the RGB um, luminance, H alpha, um, oxygen, and sulfur uh, filter, if I'm not mistaken. But I will start with number one, and it's that one. You can see here the plastic screws are uh, sitting in between the filters. Always try to hold your filters between your fingers. So this is how the Astrodon filters look like. And you can see here, it uh, says Astrodon Red G2E. This is the E series, uh, 36 millimeter unmounted. Start off by using a gentle blow to get rid of all the loose particles. Just one wipe. Another wipe. I use new areas of the cloth every time. 
That's a used one, so I get rid of that. Use a lot of class. Um, they are cheap, barely cost nothing, so when you have uh, wiped it off sometimes uh, you can be a bit more aggressive and when I say a bit more aggressive I don't mean that you should start rubbing it like crazy just gently wipe it off to check if it's clean uh, you can uh, reflect it on a light some kind of light source just like when you would check a mirror. Okay, so this is just some small specks left. There is one clean filter. It's some kind of dust in the air here. Okay, so when you have cleaned the filter, just put it back in the right uh, slot at the uh, filter wheel the filter cassette so you won't uh, mix them up um, so you know each filter is at the right position so uh, I am going to uh, clean each filter one at a time um, and I will show you how the result uh, turned out okay so uh, I have now uh, cleaned all the filters and <laughs> it is uh, just a bit of dust in this room so I constantly see that some dust particles are landing on the fillers but they are uh, clean uh, as clean as I can get them and I will now mount it in the filter wheel and I have cleaned uh, the housing so it's just for me to pop it in here and also just a last bit of air so I get rid of all the dust particles and hit the lid. This is basically it. Um, I usually do this uh, in the summer but since I uh, uh, have sent my telescope back to telescope service for uh, a checkup because of my astigmatism somewhere in the optical train uh, I thought I was uh, making a, a video of how I clean the fillers so uh, this is not so uh, difficult um, I do this kind of clean up if it is necessary once a year um, do not clean the filters too often and the same goes for mirrors um, if they don't need clean up um, leave them as they are uh, they can be quite dirty before you see some uh, artifacts the filters is more sensitive uh, because of uh, they are close to the camera sensor uh, so it, it's better to to have a clean filter than it is to have a, a clear mirror. So this is it for uh, this video. Um, I hope I get my scope back uh, in uh, uh, a couple of weeks. I have just seen that the parcel has arrived to Germany. Um, I sent the corrector with the telescope as well. So they will check that out as well. This is it for now. Um, be safe out there. I uh, hope you enjoy my videos, uh, keep watching if you'd like to. Um, this is me over and out, you're watching Exo Photography.